Hello, I'm Jan Carabeo with your digital news brief for Friday, September 20th. Happening today in Bucks County, hundreds of social services employees are on strike, including those who work in the county's 911 center, children and youth services, and in the IT department. The striking workers hit the picket line this morning outside the Bucks County Administration Building and will hold a rally at noon. Now in July, the union voted to reject the county's latest contract proposal. The union says the county wants to cut benefits. We're told the county is aware of today's strike and has arranged for others to fill in for striking workers. PennDOT preparing to shut down part of the highway in Grays Ferry four straight weekends starting tomorrow night at 9 p.m. PennDOT is closing the eastbound side of the Schuylkill Expressway. That road will be closed from just after the ramp to Grays Ferry and University Avenues to just before the 34th Street on ramp so crews can make repairs to the bridge deck and riding surfaces. The road will remain closed until 4 a.m. Monday morning. Now, should the Phillies make the playoffs and a game is scheduled on any of those weekends, PennDOT will reschedule the weekend closures. When you see a spotted lantern fly, you might be inclined to stomp on them, right? But one Pennsylvania college now wants you to capture them instead. That college wants to better understand how the insects adapt to our environment. So all you have to do is catch one and send it to researchers at St. Vincent College in Western Pennsylvania. The Spotted Lanternfly Invasion Archive is a research project that records and studies the spread of this invasive species across the Commonwealth and is fueled by help from students and people in the community. Now let's get a check of our next weather forecast. Here is meteorologist Kate Bilo. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jan. Good morning. We've got a nice Friday underway. It's the last Friday of summer and then we switch to autumn this weekend. So three things to know before you go today. Mostly sunny highs in the low 80s. It's a beautiful mild forecast. Another nice day warm tomorrow, but fall begins on Sunday. The autumnal equinox is Sunday morning at 843 and we are going to have a cool down just in time for the start of autumn. We're back to the 70s on Sunday with the chance for a couple of showers in the morning. Planning out your day today. Nothing but sunshine all day long. Temperatures getting into the low 80s. Very comfortable, slightly above average temperature wise. There are some clouds still trying to rotate in mainly from the city on east this afternoon. Just a few patchy clouds and then we're bright on Saturday. There may be a shower late Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday will eventually clear out. Fall begins on a cooler note at 74 degrees. So your next seven days from next weather again, two great days. It's overnight Saturday night into Sunday morning that a couple of showers will pop up and it does turn cooler Sunday and Monday with another chance for rain by the middle of next week. Jan, I'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thanks so much. And remember, you can always get Kate's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBS Philadelphia.com. That's the latest for this morning's digital news brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.